Basil. Your native language is? Arabic. Arabic, thank yes. you. And Susan, your native language is? Hungarian. Hungarian, all right. And Susan, you do not speak any Arabic, correct? I don't. And you do not speak any Hungarian? <laughs> no. No. So you don't speak each other's languages. All right, let me explain what we're going to do. Susan, I'm going to ask you in a moment to draw a picture. You can draw anything you like. And then to describe in Hungarian that picture to Basil. And it doesn't matter what you draw, as long as you make it simple and easily recognizable. Okay? So I'll give you a moment now just to think about exactly what you're going to draw and how you would describe it. So take a moment to do that for me. Basil, your job is to watch and to listen to Susan and to try and pick up what it is that she's talking about. Now, don't worry about the fact that you can't understand a word that she's saying because often the words we use are neither here nor there. You just listen, and as you begin to form an image in your mind, you can change that. Maybe you think, oh, no, that's not right. I'll change it for something else, and that's fine. And then at the end, I'll ask you to draw whatever you think it is. Is that clear? Yes. Clear? Clear. OK, so we'll face the other way. Susan, draw the picture now. OK. Don't let us see. Tell us when you're done. I'm ready. Can you put it face down on the table so we can't see it? Basil, you can turn back um. right now. All right, Susan, I'd like you to describe uh, your picture that you've drawn in Hungarian. And Susan, don't make any obvious gestures that might give it away. And if you can avoid using the word itself, especially if it sounds okay. like the English word. Okay, off you go. Egy állatot rajzoltam. Ez egy nagy szürke állat. Ormánya van, nagy fülei vannak, vastag lába, Indiából és Afrikából származik, ezért gondolom, hogy sokan szeretik, mert nem eszi meg a többi állatot. Én is szeretem, kedves és szép állat, szerencsét hoz, ha fölfelé áll az ormánya. Wonderful. All right, Basil, don't think about it, don't worry about it, just pick up your pen and paper and just draw whatever comes to mind. Also, as you draw, Basil, can you hold it up so Susan can't see it as well, please? Okay, great. Okay. Now, <laughs> because that is a little ambiguous... Shall I write? Yeah, I'll write along the top what that is. Right. Oh, that's interesting. You've got a colour as well. Yeah. <laughs> Susan, can I ask you, if you had to give this thing that you've drawn a colour, an unusual colour, though, what would you say? Uh, pink. OK. Will you turn around what you've drawn? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I had an image of something massive and it was moving, so I thought, mm, it must be an animal. <laughs> oh, that's sensational. You got it. <laughs> That is terrific. You got that spot on. I was so surprised, very much surprised, and I was very happy.